Hazrat Abdullah bin Umar radiyallahu anhu states that Allah's Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sallam said three men were going somewhere when they were caught in a torrential rain so they took resort to a mountain cave in the meanwhile a rock of the mountain fell down on the entrance of the cave and settled over them they left confined they then said to one another ponder upon your deeds you have done only for Allah's pleasure and supplicate Allah jalla jalaluhu by means of them perhaps Allah jalla jalaluhu may remove this trouble from you so one of them supplicated o oh allah jalla jalaluhu my parents were extremely old and i had a wife and young children i used to graze goats and when i would return i would milk them and offer my parents the milk to drink before giving it to my children one day i was late while searching fodder i could not return early before evening when i came back my parents had fallen asleep i as usual drew the milk put it into a receptacle and stood by the heads of the parents i did not feel like wakening them up as well as giving the milk first to my children though they were welling beside my feet i and they remained in the same condition till the break of dawn o oh allah jalla jalaluhu if as per your knowledge i did it only to please you remove it a bit for us so that we can see the sky from this cave allah jalla jalaluhu whereupon removed it a bit and they saw the sky from the cave then the second man supplicated o oh allah jalla jalaluhu i had a cousin whom i would fabulously love as men love women i expressed my heart's desire to her but she refused saying first being me 100 dinars i exerted myself in collecting 100 dinars and brought the coveted dinars to her when i sat between her two legs for sexual intercourse she said o oh, the bondsman of allah jalla jalaluhu fear allah jalla jalaluhu and do not break the seal without having a legal right so i at once left her o oh, allah jalla jalaluhu if as per your knowledge i did that only to please you remove it a bit more allah jalla jalaluhu whereupon remove it a bit more the third man said o oh, allah jalla jalaluhu i undoubtedly hired a worker for 8 kilograms of rice when he had finished the work he said give me my wages I gave him the wages but he did not accept it. I kept farming with the rice until I gathered cows and shepherded by it income. He then came to me and said, "Fear Allah jalla jalaluhu and do not do wrong to me regarding my wages." I whereupon said, "Go to these cows and their shepherd and thus get your wages." He said, "Fear Allah jalla jalaluhu and do not kid me." I said, "I am not kidding you. Take these cows and shepherd." So he took them away. If according to your knowledge I did it only for your pleasure open what has been left blocked Allah jalla jalaluhu whereupon opened what had been left blocked Sahih Muslim hadith number 6884